For thousands of years, the moon has stimulated the imagination of mankind. Many famous people dreamt of entering it or even of moon inhabitants. Therefore, the famous mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss, 1777-1855, suggested to mow huge geometric figures such as triangles and ellipses into the Siberian grasslands to draw the attention of those inhabitants. Today we know that no one is watching and that the moon orbits our planet in slightly less than 28 days. A special feature is its synchronous rotation and therefore this satellite shows an observer on Earth always the same side. The moon is important for us because it stabilizes the axes of our planet and slows down its rotational speed. Without it, the Earth would probably tumble like Mars, which would probably lead to more extreme weather conditions on Earth. Several probes have explored the Earth's companion and so far 12 astronauts have set foot on its surface during the Apollo program. These footprints are still visible as a picture from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter LRO from 2009 revealed. The surface of the Moon is dry as dust and covered with regolith. Furthermore, we were sure that water cannot persist on the lunar surface. It was therefore a big surprise that we found several times hints for it. First in 1998, the probe Lunar Prospector discovered water ice at the poles, which was a first indication of the presence of water. It was also speculated that there could be even larger amounts of it in the deep craters where no sunlight reaches the ground. The first probe that found water molecules on the lunar surface was the Indian probe Chandrayaan-1 in 2008. The existence of water on the moon was confirmed when the Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite LCROSS was sent to Earth's companion in 2009. In addition to high-resolution cameras, the probe also had an infrared spectrometer. To stir up enough moon dust, the 2T upper stage of the Atlas V rocket was sent on a collision course with the moon crater Cavius at about 9,000 km per hour. The resulting dust cloud was then analyzed at close range, even if this meant that LCROSS probe also hit the lunar surface a few minutes after the upper stage. In October 2020, astronomers reported detecting molecular water on the sunlit surface of the Moon by the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, SOFIA. An infrared telescope mounted inside a 747 jumbo jet and an American-German joint project. With an altitude of over 13 kilometers, SOFIA flies so high that only a small amount of water vapor in our atmosphere disturbs the observations. The detected water could be valuable in the future, when we return to the Moon to build a permanent outpost. It can be used as rocket fuel by extracting the hydrogen, for breathing by extracting of oxygen, for protection because water absorbs radiation, and of course, for drinking. If you like this video, check out our other videos about the search for water.